engaging your viewers and keeping them watching is the ever existing struggle of Twitch. And one of the ways you can make it easier on yourself is with good channel point redemption. But Twitch does a lousy job at making them good. They leave it all up to you to get them implemented and executed when they are redeemed. However, wouldn't it be much easier if you could have that all happen automatically? Well, congratulations. Today, I am going to automate all your channel points using streamer.bot. And a little bit later, I'm going to give you some ideas how to unleash your creativity. So make sure to stick around so you don't miss out on that. My name is Barry Apps and this is Content Delta. Commands, timers, channel point redemptions, alerts, it can do all of that and so much more. It is no surprise that 85% of my stream lives and breathes streamer.bot. It links directly to your OBS and can influence everything in it and on it. And that is also why it is so stupidly good when you use it for your channel point redemptions. But before we get into that, let's make sure that you install it correctly. To install streamer.bot, simply go to their website streamer.bot and click on the downloads tab. I've left a link to this down in the doobly-doo. Once you've downloaded it, extract it to a place you will remember and then open up the streamer.bot application file. Once you've done that, go into the platforms tab, go to Twitch and click accounts. Here you can connect your account and the bot account that you are using. Now head into your OBS and click the tools button. Open the WebSocket server settings, click the show connect info button. I'm not going to do that right now because I'd be giving away private information. If you do not see this, you have not updated your OBS to version 28 or later. If you're running OBS 27 or earlier and do not want to update, then check out the video right here to see how to use the OBS WebSocket plugin and install streamer.bot in OBS 27. Once you do that, you get all the information you need to head back into streamer.bot, into the stream app, and connect your OBS. Just call it OBS, make sure that the version is set to 5.x, and then fill in the rest of the information exactly as you get it from your WebSocket settings. The status should now say connected. If it isn't, then you may have done something wrong, but to make it easy on yourself for next time, make sure to right click it and toggle the auto connect and reconnect toggle. With all that set up, we are only going to need two tabs. First thing we are going to do is head into the action tab. Because streamer.bot is located on your computer and directly linked to your OBS, it can control your scenes and sources, which means you can set it up to play a video file, toggle images and sounds on and off. You can even have it play a GIF or GIF if you want to say it wrong. This makes it very easy to make redemptions which directly affect your stream without you needing to do anything. You can find a copyright free video file or meme and add it to your stream to allow your viewers to control your sources, such as the confused meme that I have on my channel. To do this is very simple. Go into your OBS and add a media source. Tick the local file and look for the file you are using. Tick the restart playback in the show nothing boxes and press OK. Now head into streamer.bot and add an action. Make sure to call it something identifiable so you know exactly what it is when you need to change stuff. In the sub actions, you can go to your OBS, sources, set source visibility state and make sure that the state is set to visible and that the source you're choosing is the one you've just made. This makes sure that the source gets shown but will also make sure that the source gets restarted the next time it is redeemed. So right click the source visibility state and duplicate this sub action. Double click it and set it to hidden. The problem is that these will now trigger instantly after each other so it's not actually showing the video. What we need to do is go into the core, add a delay, and the delay has to be the length of the video. In this case, it's 14 seconds, but this is all in milliseconds, so 14,000. And that's it. Drag that one in between them, and you're all done. Then to make it a channel point reward, you head into the platforms tab. Go to channel point rewards and add. Give it a name. In my case, I will call it math is confused. Make sure to set the cost 
a prompt if you want that and set a cooldown i've set the cooldown to 300 seconds which is five minutes that gives it a little bit of leeway then in the bottom click the action button and make sure to click the action that you've just made this sets your action to trigger every time this reward is redeemed. And to top it all off, you can combine that with another trigger, extra sounds, a camera overlay, and even voice mod if you use that. Another idea would be for streamer.bot to control your filters. So they can make your camera negative, add a color overlay, or with a little extra fun, you can make a barrel roll effect. To do this, you do need an extra plugin called Move Transition, but I'll leave a link down below so you can simply install it. Then in the scene, not the source, click your filter button. Here, add a move source transition. In the source, set your source to your camera and set the custom duration to whatever you like. I like it to be around 1500 milliseconds. Scroll down to the transform and click get transform. Then set the rot value to 360.0 and close the box. Once you've done this, we're going to head back into streamer.bot. Here, we're gonna make a new action, which we will call barrel roll. And then we need to make a few sub actions. The first one we're going to make is in OBS scenes and set scene filter state. Set that to the move source and set it to visible. So now you can already do the barrel roll, but we will need to reset the redemption because else you're gonna do it once and never again. So let's add a delay with the core delay function for the same duration as you've just said your custom duration in the OBS filter two. In our case, 1500 milliseconds. Then the final sub action we need is in the OBS menu, sources, rotate source. Make sure to select your camera and set the rotation to zero and click okay. One last thing, you need to go into your camera, go into the transform and edit transform. Then set it to positional alignment center. Quickly drag your camera back where it should be and then you're ready to go. Let's test that one more time. We're gonna click the test button and whoa, there we go. Super simple. That will take 1500 milliseconds and then we do the test again and see that nothing changes. Everything stays in place. So when it resets, your viewers will not know that you've actually twisted back you can also do a barrel roll sound effect if you want such as the original do a barrel roll from Star Fox, which i have left in the discord for you to use at your own leisure don't forget to add this as a channel point redeem in the same way that we did it before another thing that you can do is break the system completely twitch can't make channel point rewards that are only for your subscribers vips or mods but you can this is a little more tricky because you will need two different actions. One action is going to be the action that checks if somebody is a subscriber. And if you are, it does that redemption. The other one will run if you redeem the channel point redemption and are not a subscriber. So let's set up that last one first. All you need to do is make an action which I will call logic check. Go into the Twitch menu, go into rewards and update redemption status and choose it to cancel. As you can see in the text box, if canceling a redemption, this will refund the channel points back to the user that redeemed it. So your viewers will not even lose their hard earned channel points if they accidentally or purposefully redeem something for subs only. You can also add a text message if you really want to saying something like, I'm sorry username, this redemption is for subscribers only. Your points have been refunded. Now you just make a channel point redemption as normal. However, you add one extra thing right at the start. Let's take the barrel roll as example. What we're gonna do is add from the Twitch menu, user, get user info for target, and target is gonna be the user itself. Make sure to set that all the way to the top. Then we're gonna add a core, logic if else statement the variable we are going to check is target is subscribed and we're going to check if the value is false make sure to capitalize this appropriately because it is case sensitive if it's false we want it to do logic check what this does is check if the viewer that has redeemed this is subscribed if they are not then it runs the other action which sends the message 
counts as the redeem and returns their points and it breaks which means it stops running so it doesn't do the rest of that action on the other hand if they are a subscriber it will not refund the points and just keep running doing the rewards exactly as you want it i've left a link in the doobly-doo down below so you can import both the logic check and a baseline for subscriber only redeems straight into your version of streamer.bot while you need to be an affiliate to do all this with channel points you can also add them as chat commands which means you can use them wherever and whenever you want you can see these and many more redemptions when i'm live on twitch over on twitch.tv forward slash mathman eu every wednesday thursday and sunday at 7 p.m cet or if you need help setting these up i've left a link to the discord down below there's one more thing that streamer the bot can do that's absolutely incredible and really rewards your viewers and that is that you can display their avatar live on stream not only that it automatically updates the avatar for every person that redeems which is amazing for a walk-on sound or even a first redemption to see how you can do that click this video right here and as always stream better stream smart